hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is min howie and as expected <laughs> i have a guest here who uh was here some like almost a year ago and uh he's been looking for me to pay back something <laughs> but before i say what i'm supposed to pay him back let him introduce himself yeah what's good your boy king of travel man i'm over here in the motherland uh you know what I'm saying? So I'm over here and came to meet up with Minnie Howie, you know. Mm -hmm. About a year ago, I came over here and uh, things didn't go as planned, you know. Mm -hmm. So I pretty much, you know what I'm saying, came over here to, to do a tour of Africa at the same time, be down here three months, but I had to stop in Nabahazi mm -hmm. and pretty much talk to Minnie Howie a little bit about, you know, that situation <laughs> happened, you know. Uh -huh. Yeah, because, you know, the thing about it, you know, I was upset about that cake situation, Minnie Howie. I ain't going to lie to you because... You know what I'm saying? We just bought that cake, and that cake was brand new, and mm -hmm. y'all was smashing on the ground and all that, and I just was like, wait a minute here, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, you know, my thing is, is um, definitely, um, so you're going to pretty much give me a cake back, or, or what's good? <laughs> okay, not, I don't have it today, though. I've, I've, it's, I've, been, I've been hearing about it for like three days now, though. I don't have it with me, but hopefully, if we can, you can agree, or we can agree on how the payment plan, on how I can pay it back. How much was it? Let's start from there. Uh, I think I paid about 6,000 Kenya shillings for that cake. 6,000? Yeah. 6,000. That was a rip-off. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Where was where, that? Nairobi or, or Migori? No, Migori. Uh, no, 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 no. That was a rip-off. Wow. That was a rip-off. But anyway, we'll see on how I can pay it back. But in the meantime, guys, can you subscribe? Check me out. Road to 10,000 subscribers. I don't know if you're still doing videos. So they can also check King of Travel out. It's road to 30,000 or 50,000? No, 20, 21,000. So you're, it's, let's say road to 30,000 subscribers. So you can check him out. And uh, yeah, so let's proceed from there. So how, how has it been for you? Yeah, pretty good. Um, Came over in Nabahazi, man. Everything is good. Having a good time over here. Sunshine and meeting good people. Mm -hmm. Humbleness, you know. So, And definitely compared to what a lot of people were saying online about me coming to Nabahazi. And mm -hmm. I better not step foot back in there. I'm going to be honest. Mm -hmm. I don't step foot in every corner of Nabahazi so far. <laughs> Yeah. How are the, the people? How are the people treating you just generally? Oh, very humble. Everybody's saying king of travel. You mm -hmm. know, I'm surprised you're, so many you're, people know You're known me. here. Yeah. Uh -huh. Are people yeah. running away from you? Now, when well, they see you? Well, I'm gonna tell you the truth. Some of them ducking and dodging behind the bush. I don't know why they're doing that. I uh -huh. guess. Yeah, but a lot of people saying, "What's up, king of travel?" They greet me in here. Respect mm -hmm. everything. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So, uh, let me just go straight to the point. What brings you here for a second time? Because the first time you were here, you had a mission. Okay. You came to apologize tomorrow, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. And maybe the people you had offended. Yeah. So what brings you here a second time? Well, pretty much what brings me here a second time is I actually met some good people. Um, in last that, time? Yeah, last time. Okay. Because that, that situation happened. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I start talking to some people in Nabahazi Village. You know, they have respect me over here. And they've been mm -hmm. like, man, they didn't like the way the situation went. And mm -hmm. uh, that's one part. So I came back to visit some of some people I met and also too. We working on a project, but I ain't want to say what the project is right now, but we working on some things over in Nabahazi, mm -hmm. just as well as not just over here, but other parts of Africa too. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, are you, do you still have the same, uh, you had a mission to apologize back then? Are you still in that apologetic mood? Oh, no, 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 no. Why are you no. not in that, this, what changed? No. Well, to be honest with you, I ain't in that apologetic mood because I'm just right now, hey, you know, when I came, and I, and I wasn't say it was apologetic at the time, I wanted to make peace, but... From what I feel right now, it, it ain't no making no peace because when some people is set in their ways, it ain't no making no peace with them anyway, you know? Mm -hmm. And my thing is, is um, I'm going to just say for an example, why should I want to make peace with a person who ego is inflated to the point that they think they too good to make peace anyway? So instead of you, like, so you've changed your mind, you're going back to where you were, just to like where you were before you decided to apologize. Yeah, pretty much, yeah, somewhat, but in a positive way. It's almost like I'm going to just keep my distance. This is what it is. Mm -hmm. But but in, in Nabahazi stomping ground, I'm, I'm going to walk where I want to walk at, pretty much. I, it don't matter because cause that person is over here. It is what it is. I got people over here. I got respect over here, and I'm just coming through. So what made you feel like you need to apologize? What is it that changed? What was your turning point? That made, so that thing that made you feel like, I want to apologize to this person. I have Because when you want to apologize, it means that you have wronged someone. You know, well, so what made you want to apologize? Why were you looking for peace? Well, you know, the thing is, I won't say it's such an apology piece because I felt like, you know what I'm saying? Like I told you even before, mm -hmm. 
you know what I'm saying, and my answer don't change. I mean, I was reacting in situations, and mm. sometimes I might have felt like I went up a, a little too far with mm. a with a left and right blow, if you know what I mean. That's American slang. Mm -hmm. But, you know, and the reality is, is this right here, you know, hey, as seeing what was happening mm -hmm. and how this person handled people, mm -hmm. I'm not apologizing, man. It is what it is. You know, mm -hmm. my reactions is more on a level now mm -hmm. of hopefully one day the brother get it together. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Because... Mm -hmm. What is happening, you know what I'm saying, from what we talk about situations that happened back then with all the scamming and different things going on, mm -hmm. the brother just seemed like he getting worse and worse by the day. Mm -hmm. And I want to say example, even with you, Mimi Howie, I mean, this man just blasts you out online. Mm -hmm. And I remember the time when you when you smashed the cake and uh, my mm -hmm. right then, y'all was mm -hmm. dancing and having mm -hmm. a good time. Mm -hmm. I feel like this man was a, a big influence, even in your circle, like... Mm -hmm. And I felt like 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 you was one of his foot soldiers, okay. and I just gonna be honest oh, yes, with you. Was. And, and so you was one of his foot soldiers, but even in your situation, what happened in your position? Cause like I understand you trying to be positive about it, you don't want to say any kind of negative reaction, but he sure will say about you. Okay, okay. Before I get to before you get to me, what is it about this person? Why why are you so much focused on this one person? Uh, to to why what, what is what interests you so much and where did this come from? Well, pretty much, I mean, like I said, it was a time when I was coming to Africa. This person, I, I know this person, and he was the one who told me that the first time I'm coming into a country, mm -hmm. he was gonna make sure I was good. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And I could have contact him any time. So I mean, at that time, that's what made me felt like that was disrespect to me because when you come in out in America and any other country. You call people, they make sure you good coming in the country. And it wasn't even about him hosting me in the country. Mm -hmm. It was about him simply picking up a phone call. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And telling me, was I going to a safe area? You got to understand as an international traveler, mm -hmm. first time coming into Africa, you want to make sure you're in a safe zone. You know what I'm saying? So my thing was, I saw him in the Mombasa area, and that was the first area I was going in. Mm -hmm. So it was a simple phone call. Mm -hmm. So I just, I'm going to be real with you. Ever since that day, I just didn't really, you know what I'm saying, care for his 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 mindset on how he handled people, you mm -hmm. see? Mm -hmm. And it ain't just that, as I stopped in the reaction field, it was a big situation that took place because it's one thing when you donate money towards someone mm -hmm. and, and you support them, and then when you call them on the phone, they're not even trying to pick up what you got their direct number, mm -hmm. but they pick up once you had donate the money on the on the um, live screen when you go live. Okay. And you know, so at that point, that's just when it started, you know? so. It is what it is. So now the way I feel now about the situation, I just, you know, I just don't care for the brother like that because his attitude and his ego. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you think the brother you're talking about has done anything good for this community? You say rude? Good. Uh, do you feel like he has done anything impactful for this community in Abuhase where um, you've come? Well, yeah, I feel he have done some impactful things for the community. Mm -hmm. Um but I'm going to tell you the truth, and a lot of impactful thing he has done for the community is, mm -hmm. is really for his gain. You know what I'm saying? Like, I believe if it wasn't for his gain, he wouldn't even do it. Like, okay, let's say for an example, he made a lot of y'all YouTubers. Yeah. But my thing is he dictating y'all at the same time. Mm -hmm. He running y'all show. Like, for an example, he called you out, and I'm just saying, mm -hmm. ain't you just lost like a 1,000 subscribers? No, I, I lost like 150. 150 subscribers? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so you lost 150 subscribers. So mm -hmm. my thing is, mm -hmm. if you're going to do something for somebody, do it and leave it the way it is. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? As soon as you get mad, then you say, unsubscribe, mm -hmm. do this, do that. Mm -hmm. So a lot of times, you question and ask yourself, if you're doing something for the community, mm -hmm. why are you doing it for the community? Is you doing it, okay, let's say you say, for an example, with Miss Ann Project, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, you influence people. Get people to send money down there. Mm -hmm. But it's almost like, okay, if this house only going to cost, let's say, 3 million Kenya chillings, right? Mm -hmm. But if I could get 6 million out of the people, you know what I'm saying? I get 3 million gain. Mm -hmm. You know, that's how I start looking at the man. It's always something behind what he do. Well, do you have any evidence? When you when you talk about these things, uh, King well, of Travel, you know, no, let, let me let me let me let me let me, let me just. Uh, no, it's say all this. good. When you, when, I got, when I got you talk about evidence, when you talk about these things, assuming like do you have any evidence to back up, you know, to say that okay, for example, mm -hmm. uh, there is a six million cents and he uses maybe three million and 
keeps the pockets the three other million. Mm-hmm. You have evidence when you come up with these things, saying them constantly okay. and constantly and constantly. Okay. Do you have any proof that you could tell the people or the audience that, guys, I have this proof against this person and this is the amount you received? Do you have any any okay. anything that can back up your story? I got I got plenty to back up. Let me tell you why. King of Travel, I'm from the streets and I know the streets. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? I'm not born yesterday. I ain't born in the backyard. Mm-hmm. And when a person carry a certain energy, they carry a certain energy with everybody. Okay. Afro Indians are proof. Show the evidence where the money. No evidence being shown. Mm-hmm. Jam tours, where the evidence show the money. No money be shown. Mm-hmm. It's simple. How many projects this man don't work on, but he ain't caught no, no evidence to show anybody? Okay, do you, how many projects do you think he has worked on? Pl- um, plenty of different projects. Oh, like, give me an example. You give me an example. You know no, no, what no, no, no. Because when you talk about these things, it's you talking about them. So hold on, hold on. Let me ask you a question. Uh-huh. Do you think this man is a truthful brother? No, you be honest. Let me see. I want to speak from how I know him. Mm-hmm. You know? And I'm not here to defend or defame anyone. Most of the times I have dealt with him. Mm-hmm. I want to be very honest, guys. Mm-hmm. I've dealt with him. He has felt like a very truthful person. The things, of course, that you can feel like are not okay, you know? I just, I just want to be honest. You feel like I'm not okay, but the good that I feel he has done, compared to the bad that is being talked about, the good is more compared to the bad that you guys talk about sometimes. Okay, so hold on, hold on. Let me ask you a question. Mm-hmm. Why are so many people, even in his neighborhood, saying negativity about him? So I guess everybody against him, and so everybody wrong. That's what you're saying. No, 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 <laughs> no. I'm, I'm not saying that. And I'm not trying to uh, say that uh, people don't have their own opinions. Maybe people don't have their own experiences. I ha- I cannot take that away from people. But I'm talking about my personal experience. So, but he said, okay, but okay, but he said, you fired. You say you never worked for him. No, I never so, worked for him. I was just assisting, you know. And when I came to the village, he invited me, remember? I was invited. I was, he was doing a live stream and I was invited. Oh, Minhawi, you can join, come tomorrow or whichever day you're free, you know. Mm-hmm. I, 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 was, I worked there. I worked there as just helping them to, because he was trying to set up the party before we came up with a committee or they came up with a committee that would be able to manage the party. You see, mm-hmm. now I worked there because I had my own business. I had my own uh, like business that I was setting up at that time. I couldn't keep on doing that. You see, because I had to focus on other things. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I was assisting, and it wasn't only me; it was other people also assisting at the same time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's my truth, and I, that is my truth. I don't want to. I cannot say that I saw him stealing from someone or doing this or keeping this money when I didn't see. I don't want to say that I saw that. Maybe it happened, but I haven't seen it. That's mm. my truth. And I don't want to lie. It's like right now, I can, I can talk to you right now. Then I say, oh, he didn't pay the bills. I'm the one who paid the bills because okay, I did everything so, like okay, that. Okay, let's even talk. about. So you think that whole situation that was even in the past for Jam Tours, you think Jam Tours was lying? Ra- Jam Tours was dealing with Marwa? Yeah, Marwa and the Mungo together. Sister and brothers. Yeah, both of them together. He know what time it is because he was the influence that that helped the Mongo to get the money. So you think all that was so? Right? So the story you have oh, is about Jam Tours. Okay, what do you have against him? Let me let me say it's Jam Tours, the Indians, and yeah, it's the fact that you you manipulating people, especially in America, to get money out of them saying one thing and it's another. That's not the truth. Okay. Uh, the, the the Afro Indians, you, it's almost like I'm telling. People in America, I'm bringing these people down here to do all this good things for the community, this and that. Okay, and you get the money from the people now. Now we want to hold you accountable. Where's the money? That's all. Okay. Maybe, maybe those things happened. Like, or they happened. Or they're happening. You know, I don't want to say that they didn't happen. I don't want to be like, uh, I don't want to appear like I'm trying to defend. But they maybe they happened. Mm-hmm. Or they happened. Or maybe, like, for example, the story about Jump Tours I had, he was paid. Or there was finally some, get finally paid, get but, but why paid you had to go through all that? So if it happened, to me, if it if he was paid by the court, it means that it was true. You mm-hmm. See now that's now that's mm-hmm. evidence. Okay, mm-hmm. there's some truth to that. Mm-hmm. But for those things that I don't have evidence, you know, some I don't want. I never want to come out here and talk about someone or accuse you of something that I don't have evidence about. You see now? I, I mean that's understandable. But yeah. one thing, one thing I learned in life, and let's say for an example, people will say, "Why are you bringing up old stuff?" Because old stuff become new. Good. It's a 95 percent chance when you a thief ten years ago, you are gonna be one ten years later. Mm-hmm. People don't hardly change, and I'm seeing the same corruption happening in Nabahazi villages. We speak. Mm-hmm. People still talking. It's like 
this was going on for years. Mm -hmm. and, and it's like the ego so inflated on this person, he act like he could do anybody any type of way. Mm -hmm. And I don't think it's right. And I know you sitting there and you might want to take up for the brother and you don't want to say nothing bad or against him. No, or... I will say something bad when I see something bad. Just recently I saw something bad and they talked about it. You see, now that's why you don't understand me. Uh, like, I, I, I will see something bad. And remember when I was doing reaction videos, I said the moment I start seeing anything bad, I will talk about it. Yeah. And when I saw something bad, just most recently, I talked about it. I saw that and I have evidence of that. You see now, mm -hmm. that's the difference. Yeah. I cannot start me talking or saying things or saying things that I don't have proof of. In case things come back or I'm, I'm, I'm getting like it, law comes in, tell, they tell me, mean how we please produce the evidence of what you're talking about i don't have it mm. you know but right now if you, whatever i've talked about right now if you come ask me for evidence i'll i'll bring you the evidence mm -hmm. you see now that's the difference and i don't want to sound like i'm protecting anyone or anything when i'm also my personality my character is being assassinated of course i'll feel bad that you're assassinating my character when i've been doing this or defending you for this amount of time you know you should consider me and you do that especially when the first mistake i make or the, the, the one that you feel is a mistake then that's the time you want to cut me cut my legs out so, so so let me ask you a question when, yes uh, please when, when marvel had blasted you out online mm -hmm. and said you was fired did you feel kind of like wow why would you do that did you mm -hmm, feel that mm -hmm. wow yes i did I would I, I cannot say I can smile and be happy that oh my god finally I'm being bashed no as a human being and as a person who has defended you or stood by you when you when you when you throw me under the bus you know I definitely feel bad that's quite obvious quite automatic I felt bad so bad you know okay so now but you have to keep going you, I, I wouldn't want to focus on that bad energy that's why even before he said that I had said I don't want to be representing any person going forward if that makes sense you know and when I said that, I, I meant it because there are things I saw that were happening around our village here that I didn't like. Mm. And when, for me to come and start defending those things when they come out will be so hypocritical of me. Okay? Yeah. And it's not that now I'm, tr I'm trying to get into the lazy gang or I'm trying to join your car, any, any other team. No. I just want to be able to feel free when I'm doing something, you know, when I, when I'm saying something, you know? I mean, I mean, I get what you say in a positive way to kind of the, the, this move out the situation slow mm -hmm. but it's the fact that it seemed like some di dictatorship why this man even had to even go online and blast you like that why couldn't he just leave the situation alone mm -hmm. and keep it going and it ain't just did he did it to fell little boy he did it mm -hmm. to this person mm -hmm. that person that person mm -hmm. it's almost like he say i got the influence mm -hmm. that i could make you mm -hmm. or i could break you mm -hmm. so what is it that people scared over here that they're gonna lose money if this man call their name out like do i appear like someone who's scared of people now nah, you don't seem like no no scared. no i'm not only that when when i like i i don't fear people or i don't i'm not scared of personalities that's not how i am raised mm -hmm. i speak my voice mm -hmm. you know there comes a time when sometimes when you're telling the truth they, they are group this groups of people when you're telling the truth about about other people they only look at you like as a hero but mm -hmm. when you start telling the truth about them they look at you different they feel like now you are a bad person yeah. that's exactly what 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 is happening right now you know me, i've been bashed I've been just for just saying that I don't want to be able to present anybody. I've been really, I've gone through it like the whole past two weeks. I don't know if you've been able to witness that, you know, but that won't stop me from moving forward, you know? Yeah, but at the same time, that kind of hurt a little bit, right? Because of course it does hurt. That's the truth. You're, whatever you're saying is true. Yeah, it because hurts. because you think about how much you was on the ground for this person and they bash you like that, like that wasn't even called for. Mm -hmm. So what I'm saying is almost like this. I mean, the way I look at life sometimes, mm -hmm. you know, hey, people, egos are so inflated. They mm -hmm. think they can handle people in a type of way. Mm -hmm. And I don't think it's fair. Okay. On, on every angle. That's true. That's very true. But then now, like now when you're here, let's, let me, let me just also get back to you. What's your mission here right now? What do you, what do you intend to, to like, to, 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 to achieve? Well, pretty much over here. I'm and especially some... about Nyabo Hansen. Let me just focus because you've been, I, I was told that. Uh, you'll be here for like at least two weeks yeah, or well, even more I don't well, know. well i got some business i'm taking care of some business out here it's a mm -hmm. secret it's a secret mission i'm on are um, you investing in your hansen well only time <laughs> only time i tell because um, careful someone will scam you yeah now huh? only time i tell huh? i'm working on some stuff and um you know me personally mm -hmm. i i know how to move in africa because mm -hmm. i'm working on dual citizenship anyway so mm -hmm. so I'm, I'm definitely on it you in know kenya I mean? 
yeah 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 oh nice yeah but so, then now because you've been talking about nebuhansi being scammers because like you find let me just talk about you you when during your your reaction videos you mm -hmm. put nebuhansi when you, we could go back to the videos you nebuhansi as the whole population of people or youtubers working in nebuhansi you put the we all of them looked as scammers to you now when you're here what is your experience or what do you see? Can you Oh, no, point no. It's a lot of humble people over here, man. It's a lot of good people. So does that mean that you are wrong at some point? The things that you're saying that you are not maybe true? No, I'm going to tell you. Well, I'm going to tell you not, not the, the outside people, but the people in that circle. I feel like it's it's influence of people that can that scam. You know what I mean? Like in that circle that, okay, well, since you with me, we can scam. Let me show you how to do this. Let me show you how to do that. Do you feel like there's a manual or there's someone who's sitting down teaching people how to scam? Yeah, well, hey, if I could, if you could get money out of people, let me show you how to get the money out of people. I, I believe people do stuff like that. Trust me, mm -hmm. see it all the time. Yeah, because if they get away with it, the next person will try to get away with it. I mean, we were just talking earlier mm -hmm. behind the camera about how this person scammed this person, that person scammed that person. Mm -hmm. I ain't gonna say no names, mm -hmm. but yeah, some people influence other people to be scammers too. And I just feel that in that circle, mm -hmm. that was a big influence on a lot of people in the village. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I how mean. I what? mean, let's say this for an example. Even a situation happened with Fellow the Boy. Mm -hmm. Fellow the Boy, rather, you know what I'm saying? I'm not saying he scammed no one, but Fellow the Boy was asked for donations just like I am Marwa. Then Marwa would come on camera and say he's Fellow the Boy scamming the people. Mm -hmm. So where where Fellow the Boy get that kind of energy from? He's doing the same thing Marwa was doing. And he, say, and he said on camera that he was asking. For, for example, there's a person we are talking about behind the camera who is not at all associated with Marwa. But still, it scams a lot. Yeah. So, like, how do you say? Do you still feel like that's Mara's fault? No, nah, I don't know his relationship. No, nah, I'm not saying everybody you, that's nah, scamming. Yeah, I, yeah. Nah, you got some scamming people. People, people. there are people. Like, I, I tend to feel like sometimes we also, as much as we, you, we want to accuse one person of doing all these things, you mm -hmm. also have to look at people individually. You oh know? yeah, yeah. There nah, are people who just to... like, for example, right now someone could approach him and have I want you to help me build a, a story building somewhere there, somewhere there. Mm -hmm. and I do have maybe my, in my report I have a lot of inconsistencies. You know, mm -hmm. that doesn't mean like people do things. People need to own their, yeah, yeah. their their own like uh, mistakes sometimes, mm -hmm. and you also need to point out people for their own mistakes. You know, mm -hmm. there are a lot of people that are doing bad things. Yeah, you know? yeah, and those other people you cannot even believe that they can do that. Well, you got a world full of scammers now. You got all kind of scammers. It's, it cuts right? across. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you got to definitely be careful with anybody. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So, do you intend to maybe settle? Is there something you like about Nebuhansi other than the humility and the people? Yeah, yeah. Now, Bahazi, cool, but this ain't just the only part of Africa. I'm doing some work in though. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm doing. I'm doing. What are you doing here? I can't like, really. Just, just, I, just tell us. You so know, what I'm just. <laughs> It's certain things I gotta keep keep down on the uh -huh. low, you know. But um, I don't I don't tell everything. You don't never let the right hand let the left hand know what the right on. hand doing. Uh -huh. Yeah, but I work on some Because I'd rather problems. you tell us this thing so that in case something happens, you can also be able to help you out. Because you never know when the rain will start beating you. Yeah, now it's huh? all good. I, <laughs> I got projects in Nairobi, Kenya, Mombasa, mm -hmm. Africa. You mm -hmm. know, uh, over here. So I'm working on some things. Just mm -hmm. only time will tell, you know. So that's what it is. Okay. Yeah. I'm just a type of person. I don't tell everything, you know. I just I let it all flow. Yeah, but it's the reason why I came down here, though, you know. And mm -hmm. it ain't it ain't about no. It wasn't even about no Marvel. We just mm -hmm. talking about the situation with him. But, mm -hmm. but yeah, I got some good people over here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, some good people. We was talking for a while, working mm -hmm. on some things, and mm -hmm. we about to put it in order. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of a business Cause, trip. Because I feel like, I, like guys, honestly, he of course. <laughs> It's a business trip the at things, the same time. The things he's doing also that I don't know what it is. Because in case the rains, because now, because now he, we have to be cautious about everyone, even me. You don't don't look at me as a, as a very nice person. Because <laughs> I, I could be, you're, I could be targeting you. You know. Yeah. So like, because when you're doing all these things, when you're talking to all this, well, also remember to keep your receipts. You know, yeah. people take advantage of you, and uh, people may take advantage of you, and mm. you may not even know. It, it might be me or the closest person they think is the best person. Because when you come here, I want to believe that you've done your due diligence. Well, 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 I'll tell you this much. Before I even came in here, mm -hmm. before I even came to Nabahazi or any place I go in Africa, mm -hmm. the people, whoever I deal with, I got people, you got to check in with the MC and all that, got to get ID, mm -hmm. the identification. Mm -hmm. So if anybody tries something, mm -hmm. they're going to be, you know what I mean? They're going to be, um, 
pretty much held liable anyway. So I do a, I do some work behind the scenes, but mm -hmm. people got to check in with, with, you know, for me coming into certain parts of the country anyway. So okay, is there anything positive you've noticed about here, Buhansi, Other than the people, let's talk about YouTube because that's why no, you're here. No, like no. that's what has brought you here because we know you because of YouTube. As, have you seen anything positive that you can talk about? You can come out. Of with what? Nebuhase because all along you it's been negative, 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 negative. I haven't had anything positive. No, that it's, you've a, it's about. a lot. It's a lot of positiveness in there. The people is is very, very cool. Very no humble. YouTube, not the people. No, no not it's, on the YouTube. I want. I want. I'm, I'm focusing people. on YouTube. Like you, me as a YouTuber, you've met other people. Sejo, Pablo. Oh, they good. Yeah, good like, people. They Sejo, have, Pablo, all of them. Yeah, they good people. Yeah. Sergio, um, Pablo, um, Ernest. Orr, what makes yeah. you think they're good people? Because online, when you go there, whatever you hear or whatever you like, because <laughs> I want you to be like very honest. Well, well, well the thing is, because is especially maybe the strange stories we've had about Sergio, like he's here, you know, the stories we've had about him, and yeah. you're like, oh my God, everyone, even no one trusts Sergio, like most of the times. Yeah. And uh, but, but you're working with him, you yeah, know, you're yeah. he's like your 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 your, and the other people. You know, so yeah. what what makes him now be good? Well, well, the thing is, is um, you know, even even when I dropped a video last night, I mm -hmm. had some negative comments about Sergio and stuff like that. But mm -hmm. uh, my thing is, is this, you know, what I mean, in life, sometimes you got to take a chance. But you know, Sergio Sergio did his due diligence before I even came to Nabahazi. Okay, um, he checked in with a lot of situations when it come to me. So my thing is, is um, you know, what I'm saying like it's kind of some red tape you know i mean that's some leave it like that you mm -hmm. know i can't say in the deepness of it but mm -hmm. but yeah he he you know he he seemed like a pretty good brother in trying to make sure everything is all right so what is good about me especially about youtubers one good thing that you can come out with today because like <laughs> well guys, the YouTube, the YouTube this guy is... like literally uh, like <laughs> there's like according to his videos when you go to youtube there's nothing impressive about no, I'm what Nebo Hans is doing what just one thing no yeah, well, well me personally it's it's just peaceful i mean it's relaxing come on <laughs> yeah i mean nice. I, I ain't had no problem since i've been here even like walking down uh, have you been attacked by anybody no 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 have you been chased by anybody um uh, no none of that none of that you know what i mean and um <laughs> not attack, not chase, or nothing. I just be cool and uh -huh. everybody chill. I mean, it's actually a lot of respect over here. Okay. You know, I mean, I walk down the road. They saying, "What's up, King of Trap?" And you feel safe? Yeah, I feel safe, pretty. Because you don't have a lot of guns or anything like that. So, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I feel pretty safe. Uh -huh. Yeah. So and 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 like, let me go to personal a bit. Are you married? No. Any kids? Yeah, I got a son. Yeah. Okay. What 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 do you do for a living, and how do you support your travels? Well, I mean, yeah, I run I run companies and stuff like that. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know. So okay. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. I don't believe YouTube is the one that does everything for you. I do because you hardly even post on YouTube. Yeah, so yeah. Um, I don't believe so that it's it's. It does anything for you, so I wanted to know. Maybe if you, our audience, my audience, maybe to know that uh, what really uh, how you, how you manage, you know. Yeah, yeah, you know, some life. Life is good. That's all I can tell you. Uh, life is uh, good. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah, it came from a good background, you know, and mm -hmm. well, yeah. Like originally, where are you from? Are you I'm in the U.S.? Yeah. Are you a Black American, or are you yeah, like Port, from Puerto maybe Rico, Puerto Rican, Puerto Italian, and Black? Yeah. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. Mm hmm Guys, so I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I feel like it's hilarious and I know people will come for me because I, I did a video with you and uh, it's it's expected. Mm -hmm. And even I've had people warn me. I mean how we don't do don't you dare do a video with uh with the king of travel because it will prove a point to the positive gang. That you are maybe uh, you weren't really for them, but you know I like I said I don't want to be controlled in so, any way. So, I don't so. want to be people telling me to, not to do this with this person or not to do that with this person. It's not like we are best friends or we are intending to be best friends in future or anything like that. No, we, I just want to get your point of view about what you really think, and that's what my journey is all about, guys. I want to specialize mostly. I don't know. I'm not good. I'm not a journalist, so I may make so, mistakes here and there. So let me ask you a question, though. Mm -hmm. So you say positive gang. So you call it. So we the negative gang. 
see, but even in the negative gang, come on, like it's like that's what like according so, to so, YouTube, what like you know what I'm saying. You, I so, know you understand what I'm saying. No, I get what you're coming from, but mm. my question is, mm. is why we gotta look at, at as negative when we call out situations? It's almost like a pastor preaching at a church. They calling out the people in the church for wrongdoing, but they not looking at them as negative. So why we got to be called out negative when we see somebody doing something that's just not right? Yeah, because like I don't, I cannot really explain that. But then now the things that you guys have said that are true, the things that you guys many a times that I've said are wrong. Mm -hmm. You know, that's the reality. So maybe most of people are are inclined are, are how do I put it? I don't know how to put it. They, they look at you, it's the same way you look at us, uh, not us, oh, I'm no longer in the positive team, guys, I'm just representing myself. It's the same way you looked at us back then, as 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 being negative when we, are feel, we feel like we are trying to say something positive, you know? Mm. And the same way you guys are feeling, you look at yourself as saying something positive, but you look at you saying, we look then back then at you saying something negative, you know? So I don't know how to put it, but it is what it is, I cannot really put, and that's the mixture I don't want to be part of anymore. So okay. I, I want see. to be able yeah. to say things the way I see them. I want to be able to interact with people, not because I feel like now I'm associated with you or I belong to, we belong together, we are packed together, just because I feel like I want to say this because that's what my heart tells me I should say, or it's my, my honest view of things, you know? Mm. Okay? Yeah, so uh, my, my questions, are, the things I'm talking about right now, guys, is not... And I'm not trying also to justify myself or anything like that. This is the path I'm taking and I want to be able to interview anybody who comes here, whether it's King of Travel, whether it's, 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 it's anyone from whichever side of the world who comes here, I can be able to interview them without being looked at as being, uh, as leaning to the other side. These are my, my, my views, this is what I want to do in life. I don't, I don't, I don't mind what you think, whether you feel like it's the worst thing I've done, because people really think I should not interview because it will, be, I don't know why. Mm. I honestly don't know why they would, uh, they, they'd feel like that, but I also try to understand it's because of what I've been representing for a long time. So they feel like it's a form of betrayal. Well, 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 I wanna, you. well, I want to say this though. I mean, like a form of betrayal, mm -hmm. I mean. I, I mean, we we just having an interview and, and you being positive at the end of the day about the situation. Mm -hmm. and, I, and I ain't going to lie to you. Mm -hmm. I just feel like even the way you talking, I must give you much respect because it's, it's more to it with that, even with that situation and mm -hmm. um, you and your boss. Mm -hmm. But you just you, you just keeping everything on the hush hush. It's kind of like you almost basically saying, mm -hmm. you know, I know he called me out and he... he said what he said online but i'm gonna be more positive than the back end yeah so, so, yeah i don't i don't want my focus to be about anyone so much you gotcha. know i don't want to be like i don't i i think you understand what i'm trying to yeah, say yeah. i don't want to be like i'm focused on him you know but because our content most of the times have been focused on what he does and his family does and you're here today so we have to talk about all these things yeah i think yeah. going forward if at all we meet and we talk about things it would be about uh what is happening in your boss? It could be yeah, yeah, totally yeah. different things. Totally but then now yeah. these are these these are the this is the beginning of maybe yeah. how to forge. Well, well, the reason why we kind of just talking about it now because what said you to travel and different people that I'm going through. Mm -hmm. And I mean honestly, and it's deeper when it even comes to said But you know, you say you didn't want to speak on that situation. It's yeah. fine. I ain't gonna say nothing yeah. about it. But um, it's just the trend. The trend ain't stopping. You know. So yeah, yeah. Because I feel like we need a. Uh, because you said, like, this time when you're in this village, it's about more positive stuff for yeah, you. Yeah. You know? Like, uh, we have to, like, find closure. I feel that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Of where we've been. Like, I busted your cake. I, like, and you said it hurt your feelings. And, you know, we have to talk about these things sometimes. And then we move on. Because I believe maybe we'll meet again and do a video. Maybe we'll be making a cake together so that we can, yeah, you bake know. A cake and I'm together. sorry about that, by the way. I haven't <laughs> apologized. Let me apologize. Because I said not to apologize. <laughs> <laughs> like if you i know you had the best of intentions and right now looking at it from at this point you had the best so, so i want to tell you the honest truth the intentions was really the best i mean we we actually had just get that cake that cake was brand new mm -hmm. we just like it i remember <laughs> when i was doing that video did you get my 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 demeanor i wasn't i felt so bad at the same time you know because this is a guest who has come <laughs> 
Yeah, it was part. <laughs> I, I, I wasn't. I, I was like, oh my god, this time, this now, what do I do? This is a guest who has come, and like, you like the reception was very awkward. You know, yeah, as yeah. much as you are very negative, the African culture, the way you know, even if a guest comes to your place and he has been insulting you, even if it's a neighbor, has been insulting you for the rest of his life, but the moment he comes to your your place, there's a way you are supposed to, re- to welcome them. Yeah, yeah, and that was awkward. And I was ambushed. I didn't even know you were there because I was going down with the border border, and they're like, "Man, how we come?" And I was like, "Who is this?" Then looking at you, I was like, "Oh, oh my God!" So um, the fa- the second video when passing the cake, of course, that was like dramatized a bit. But the the first video when we met, mm. I w- I wasn't. I w- don't think I was mean to you, was I? No, no, you was good. No, no, no. Just be honest. Was I? No, no, you was good. No, you was. You I was, was a bit. I was. I think it was a shock or something. Yeah, it was, uh, it a, was shock. a mix of shock and what is this? You know, yeah. The second video was, of course, I did. I wasn't the one who literally busted the cake. Joyce did that. <laughs> and you haven't called her for, out for that. She what? from the from UK, right? Yeah, the lady from the UK. Yeah, you yeah. only dine with my name. <laughs> mm. uh-huh. And it, of course, it was all of us. But she, the one who did it, and it was it's all our fault, of course. Yeah, but I want to apologize for that. I hope we can move on from that. Oh yeah, uh, it was it was it was a bad thing to do, especially for the cake part. And I hear you want the cement. I don't know about the cement. Mm. I don't even. I just heard of a story. I don't know whether it was. I don't know how it went. And it's not everything, guys, that we know. You know, for example, I didn't know you. I didn't know you paid for the the, the cement until I had it. Yeah, yeah. So I may not know how it went. You know? And given that you are here right now, you can be able to tell there are things that can be happening somewhere, and I don't know. Mm. And also, you don't know. Yeah. We don't. We may not know everything that's happening in the village, guys. Sometimes, and of course, you'll be like, I "Mean how we? Why are people impregnating people in the village, and you are keeping quiet?" Sometimes, some things even you've told me today, I didn't even know. True or false? Yeah, it's true. Yeah, and people will always look at you as the one who is supposed to be protecting, or saying, or exposing, or not exposing. Yeah, the people expect you to protect. Maybe something like that when they happen. Yeah. For example, uh, the village pregnancies, they expect you to protect. Others expect you to oppose, to, 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 to expose. You see yeah, now? Yeah. Well, my thing is, uh, you know, even with the, the village pregnancies, like, I know I know people want to protect the situations, but we got to be careful, you know, with the, especially the younger generation, because mm-hmm. that's putting a bad, it's a bad image, and, you know, for older people to, to just... I feel like it's kind of taking advantage, you know, because they're young and they don't know no better, you know, mm-hmm. so that, that's just not good, you know. And, and the people doing these things, guys, are people we all love and support and appreciate. Because if, if I told today, I came and said, he is the person who impregnated a 12-year-old, you will be shocked who these people are, you know, mm. and there's evidence, you know, that supports that, you know, but for some reason, Others expect you, our audience expects you to protect these people. Others expect you to expose these people. So can you understand the... No, I get what you're saying. The audience now that you get are upset. Here. Yeah, they get upset in the situation. They don't want to, you know, the, the, I guess them to get exposed from the bad, you know what I'm saying, that they're doing in the, in the villages. But I don't, I don't think, I don't know. Man. Now that you are here, can you, can you get how it can be difficult to do these things? Sometimes no, people go out. Saying. Yeah, because yeah, sometimes when you go to the police, maybe they've been bribed. And you want to expose this person, and then now they'll be like, bring the evidence, you don't have the evidence. So sometimes it can be very difficult, guys, to talk about these things in a positive way. You don't want to defend, for example, you don't want to defend this person because whatever this person has done is wrong. You know, you, you, you are put in a way to defend them, but you also, in a, you also feel like you need to expose these people for whatever they are doing. But then now when you expose them, you'll be looked at the person who is destroying the village. You see, you're destroying the village. So, so well, let, me, let me ask you a question. Even when it comes to that, because mm-hmm. the laws over here, mm-hmm. um, let's just say a bunch of, you know, for an example, a bunch of the females got impregnated or mm-hmm. under age, under age, under age, not under, grown women, under age, under age. Yeah. So the police don't look at what escalated this situation. Maybe it's influence of of events that take place that makes people feel comfortable to take advantage of these young girls like this. It, it can happen, but then our police are also not that much equipped. You see, you see with such, for example, YouTube in Yabohansi, in Nairobi it could happen because it's, everyone is doing YouTube. You know? In this village, the police, we only have a few stations here and there. You know, mm. They have madras to think about. There's a department that that department can be very weak. You see, because like I told you before, 
this is not can it can be right now this it's the spotlight is on it because it's youtubers in it but then now when you look at the whole community it's happening everywhere mm. you see now so the police will be like they won't focus on it because it's youtubers they'll be oh. like it's these are stories that are being reported every day mm. see now so they may not give it the urgency because it's a common thing and the community where we are right now if i tell you we can walk even just like even five miles you'll get young girls with all very old women of the size of your father mm. married to such kind of people oh. so the, the government is really trying especially to to sensitize this community because these are very huge that it happens a lot in tanzania so and this community is next to tanzania so there's a lot of influence see now mm. on how even ch children going I mean, young girls going to school they do not go to school you know they get to grade eight and then they are like that's enough the father said that's enough it's now time for you to get me cows go get married so that i can get cows you see mm. now so it's been a thing a cultural thing as much as people want to say no it's that's that's the truth you know so they don't give it agency because it's something that's happening wow yeah but then now we are giving it agency because now it's a youtube thing and the international community or our viewers are international people who see this thing as wrong yeah you yeah. see now that's what that's how it is so i don't know it's 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 crazy even if i go with the case or someone says to go and report these people trust me and the police here are hungry they are paid peanuts so they'll be like okay if i give you six thousand seven seven thousand kenyan shillings they'll keep quiet they'll be like ah okay wow. go sort out that problem with your parents and all that but when the government now really seriously now puts the spotlight now they they won't even say you give them money then they'll come and arrest you because now the government has really taken out there's an there's an authority that is really are putting shining more light on these issues you see now Mm. Yeah, and also as a person, it's very hard for me to go and start reporting someone, the person, people who are the, especially the parents or the brothers to these victims are the ones who are supposed to grant with these stories. They also don't take this issue seriously. You see now, they'll talk, 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 and all this person has money, they go and gives them, okay, I'll start, start taking care of this baby, and then he pays for one month, then mm. stops. So it's that's the situation. So it can be very complicated sometimes. Mm. Yeah, I guess I'm used to America. They don't play that in the U.S. Oh no, no. no. Yeah, it's because U.S. is on another level. Yeah, they yeah. lock you up for 20 years for something like that. Mm -hmm. Off the bat. And, yeah. And I heard Ernest said that that one of his um, somebody he know he they get a year they get a year in jail for something like that. Now America, you got 20 years. Mm -hmm. They're not playing them games. But yeah, I guess it's just situations like that. Hopefully, like they say, they want to make Nabahazi great again. I mean, hopefully that. That you know, people. I guess the exposure they could more take it in a way like let mm -hmm. me let me do things better in life now. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Like, like for an example, impregnating them young girls and mm -hmm. stuff like that. Like you messing them girls' future. You know what I mean? And and and, and let's face the reality: when when females young like that, they don't have their common sense ain't there. They're not thinking. No, and th and this happens normally because of this. The people doing this are people who get these donations you know when they get money they feel like they can do whatever they want mm. that's now that's so, now the so, reality so let me ask you a question even in this situation when it came to uh this party the big party they had do you think that these females might have got influenced in this situation because of that party like that made them get hyped up and want to get involved with the party and just people just didn't know how to act I, I it could be that that could be part of the problem because when you look at these kids most of them are born nine months after yeah yeah so it could be one thing it could, it could be the case you know because but then i remember also we had villagers coming it wasn't only the youtubers we mm. had a lot of villagers coming in you know it could be anyone mm. you know so it's it's that could be true as well yeah them guys just been on attack mode yeah so uh anyway this is not to attack anyone these are just talking we are talking about real issues that are happening and uh no character association here but for, as per what i understand for us i don't know but uh, these are things that are happening and we talk about them. We need to talk about them as we move on with our lives. And the goal in my, for, for me is to, you know, uh, have an impact. We talk about these things so that people can also be afraid of doing certain things, you know? Yeah. Yeah, because we don't, when you, when you talk about these issues, the, the, all the culprits know that we, they, we are, they are known. It's only a matter of time until they are exposed, you know? Yeah. Yeah, so they'll be known for what they are doing. So uh, 
the earlier we talk about start talking about these things because they are coming as an influence of youtube as well as much as youtube is coming in to create impactful uh things so, so but let me ask you you don't think that the problem is is when we expose certain realities to the YouTube space, to the audience, you don't think they enable people to continue doing wrong because instead of they say that's not right, they just continue to go with them just because they might be a fan of the person. You don't think that they could be influencing people to continue doing negativity? They could be influencing people to continue doing negativity. You know, Because one, when you keep pumping money to people who are not sometimes... Uh, you've not sensitized or you've not educated much. You just want to feel like you're doing good by supporting, which is very good. You want to support these young men or young women to, to better their lives. But then now, how do you teach them on how to manage the finances that you're sending them? People send up to millions. Yeah. You know? And this is a person who has never seen even 10,000 in their life. But today, tomorrow, he wakes up, he has a million Kenyan shillings. Mm. And he's not that literate or that well-educated to, to know how to manage these amounts of money you send them. Of course, the next thing, and they're in the village. It's not like they're in Nairobi or they have any form of exposure. You know? mm. The only thing they can think of is sex and maybe pleasing their subscribers. That's true. Being positive all the way. When they're doing the other things, <laughs> you guys, there are things that can be done, that are being done behind the scenes that when you're told, you'll be shocked. But then when, you tell, when they're told, people, uh, our, our audience sometimes be, is in denial. Yeah, you know? yeah. That's oh no, you are being named, you know, you've been helped now. You want to bring your bohansi down? No, there's no way I can want to bring your bohansi down when I'm staying here. Yeah, you know? that's true. There's no way, but then other things that happen, you may, you as much as you want to be in denial about them, they're happening. And I'm not necessarily saying that it's, it's someone's fault they're happening. There are people who are just doing things that are terrible down here, and and we, I don't know why we are in denial, but sometimes when that we are told that they're happening, you know. We feel like it's it's I don't know, it's sad, but that's the reality. So, mm. <sighs> anyway, guys, it's been amazing. I know you are tired. You wanted to eat also, and we are almost so now hungry because I've been talking and talking and talking, and I hope we can do something better. I hope in future we can meet and do maybe a more uh, uh, a video that only relates to what we are uh, currently what we are doing, not necessarily about people. Definitely. Yeah, about about what youtubers are doing you know yeah. maybe we can i don't know who knows oh yeah, you know? oh, yeah. What, what do you think oh yeah yeah no, that's not a problem yeah mm -hmm. we could pretty much um do something maybe um do some videos walk and talk about the mm -hmm. environment the mm -hmm. goodness over here you mm -hmm. know so yeah 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 i think that would be would be nice you yeah, know yeah yeah so guys uh king of travel is in the village and uh Yes, uh, and thank you for coming to our village. You know, matter like and for the bad reception we got last time. Yeah, it was of course we also we were doing things that people felt like were bad. Maybe that's hence the bad reception. Yeah. But then now come now looking at it, I think like right now, let's focus on things that are empowering us. You know, our, our, as as people, as you, as King of Travel, me as me and Howie, and you know, yeah. Definitely positive vibes in the positive vibes only. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. So. Definitely. Yeah, guys, so stay, thank you so much. Anything you want to add? Um, no, that's it. Your boy King of Tribal Nabahazi. Since I've been here, nothing but positive vibes only. That's it. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Walking the grounds. I know they say I would never come back here, but I'm here. Uh -huh. Even I saw, I saw some Lizzie Gang members attacking you. Like, what is King of Tribal doing in the village? Oh, yeah? yeah listen, they were like, you're embarrassing yourself. Wow. You're simping. <laughs> wow. Now I'm just I'm just touring the village. That's all, man. Uh -huh. It ain't simple, none of that. Uh -huh. no, everything good. We they just... feel like you're you're obsessed with the Jebuans or something like that. No, man. No. We got some business out here. Yeah. Yeah, that's all. Keep doing you. Don't focus on what people say most of the time. But oh, whether yeah. negative or positive, just focus on what you want to do, and just uh, I don't know, and focus on yourself. Most oh, yeah. importantly, yeah. Oh yeah, I let people talk. People gonna talk. Regardless. People gonna talk anyway. It is what it is. Yeah. So guys, thank you so much. It's been amazing talking to you. And uh, subscribe to King of Travel, me as well. And hopefully in future we'll talk again or we'll meet again and maybe have some different kind of kind of content. Not sit downs maybe, maybe talk, vlogging and all that. And uh, yeah, so God bless you so much. And see you on our next video. Bye. Now you can help me stop it. <laughs>